Hello friends, this video on neat reproduction is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now as the embryo grows inside the mother's womb, it needs huge amount of protection because it is a very delicate structure that is getting formed step by step inside the mother's womb. So to ensure good amount of protection to the embryo, there are a lot of membranes which surrounds the embryo and these membranes are called extra embryonic membranes. So membranes which surrounds the embryo. So membranes surrounding the growing embryo are called extra embryonic membranes. They are also known as fetal membranes because they surround the fetus. Now what are these membranes? Let, let us look at the various extra embryonic membranes. So the first one is chorion, next is amnion, third is allantois and the fourth one is yolk sac. So these are the four extra embryonic membranes which serve a very useful purpose for the growing embryo. So let us discuss about each of them in detail. So let's first talk about chorion. So if you look at the embryo here, so here we have just tried to show it in a simpler way where you see the growing embryo here and now you can very distinctly see that how each of the layers are surrounding the embryo. So first we are talking about chorion. So this is chorion. So chorion has, a, let's talk about the composition of chorion. So chorion is a, a membrane which completely surrounds the embryo. So if you look at chorion, this is chorion and it kind of completely surrounds the embryo. So this entire layer. So from all sides, it surrounds the embryo. That's chorion. And what is it made up of? It has trophoblast outside and mesoderm inside. So we, we know by now that there are three germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. And what is trophoblast? Trophoblast is nothing but the outer cellular layer of the blastocyst, right? So if you talk about the composition of chorion, outside it has trophoblast and inside it has mesoderm. Next is amnion. So amnion, where is amnion here? So if you see, this is amnion. So this layer is amnion. So amnion is is located internal to the chorion like it is the it is a membrane which is immediately after the embryo is located and the space between the amnion and the embryo so this space which is there between the embryo and the amnion this space is known as the amniotic cavity and this amniotic cavity is filled with a clear fluid, clear watery fluid which is known as amniotic fluid and this fluid serves a very nice purpose since this fluid is present all around this embryo what happens this gives a cushion like protection to the embryo and therefore it protects the embryo from any kind of shock or any kind of external um, movements that's happening so if this amniotic fluid provides protection to the embryo also the amniotic fluid it consists of cells from the skin of the embryo so this amniotic fluid also helps to determine any kind of genetic disorders or chromosomal abnormalities that might be present in the embryo. So this is where the amniotic fluid is present. Now if you talk about the composition of amnion, it is made up of trophoblast inside and mesoderm outside. So that's quite obvious, right? So if you look at chorion, so chorion had trophoblast outside and mesoderm inside. So whatever will be on the inside of chorion will be on the outside of amnion, right? Because amnion is present inside the chorion, right? So this region basically has mesoderm. So amnion has mesoderm outside and it has trophoblast inside. Now let's move on to the third layer which is allantois. So what is allantois? It is a sac-like structure. And, but this allantois is quite small in size in case of human beings. In fact, in case of human beings, it... Uh, it, it doesn't really solve, uh, I mean, serve a purpose. It's like almost non-functional in case of human beings and it is also very small in size. It is a sac-like structure. So where is allantois? This is allantois. So here you have this region. So what is it made up of? This, this has mesoderm outside because this is also located inside the chorion. So obviously it has mesoderm outside and endoderm inside. 
and finally the fourth membrane which is yolk sac which is also almost non functional uh, in case of human beings and this also has mesoderm outside and endoderm inside so where is yolk sac so this is the yolk sac and you see here so this is again a sac like structure which contains the yolk so it is a sac like sub structure containing the yolk that is why it is called yolk sac now composition is also very easy to remember just remember that chorion is made up of trophoblast outside mesoderm inside now since mesoderm is inside chorion therefore it is outside for all the other three membranes because all the other three membranes are located inside internal to the chorion so you see all of the other of them have mesoderm on outside allantois and yolk sac have endoderm inside and amnion has trophoblast inside so these are the four extra embryonic membranes or fetal membranes now let us quickly do a recap of the functions of the extra embryonic membrane because their functions are more critical so chorion protects the embryo helps in placenta formation so protection is one thing placenta formation is another thing because placenta is the connecting link between the embryo and the mother amnion amnion the amniotic cavity as i was mentioning just now the cavity between amnion and the embryo this cavity is filled with a clean clear watery fluid called amniotic fluid and this amniotic fluid acts as a protective cushion for the embryo allantois is mostly non functional as i said yolk sac is also mostly non functional but it is a site of early blood cell formation so that it's just that region where early blood cell formation takes place so these are the functions of the extra embryonic membranes thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you